Welcome to Wednesday's Market Sit Rep here at Top Gun Options. Matthew Buckley, the weekly options and primary model portfolio manager here at uh, TGO. And market's wallowing around and rolling over a little bit here. Some macroeconomic data that came out uh, this morning. Producer prices surged the most in over four years. Uh, now, that's a bad thing. Okay, now, obviously, when producers uh, charge more, to create goods and services, what do you think they do with those costs, right? So they pass those on to the consumer. So a rise in this number isn't necessarily a good thing. So the the, the biggest surge in producer prices in over four years. So that's not necessarily a, a good sign, folks. Uh, and the biggest rise that we saw is in food. And you all live on Main Street. You know that uh, just run into the Publix or Windex or wherever you're Piggly Wiggly is or whatever it is, uh, that food is, you're, you're seeing that increase, okay? So it's not like these numbers are anything new to you. So again, with the slowdown in Q1 GDP, average hourly earnings going down, so people are making less money and inflation starting to creep in uh, and it's costing you more to buy that gallon of milk. That's not, the, the, Those aren't necessarily uh, things that are good uh, for this overall market, okay? One of the reasons we're starting to roll over a little bit here is uh, Treasury yields. Treasury yields, especially on the uh, the 10-year, it broke a, a key uh, support level, okay? And that that's going to be a signal to a lot of people uh, that we're looking at a potential economic slowdown and uh, risk off. They're going to sell riskier assets uh, in that case. Okay, so it's it's really um, it, it's interesting because I think that bond market's been way overbought uh, for a little bit while, and I and I do think it's running out a little bit of the airspeed and starting to stall here. Really good looking uh, trades in our weekly options model portfolio here at TGO. We're up uh, over three grand on four trades. This Russell trade we tr uh, we closed in 30 minutes. This was Monday morning as the Russell recovered, had a bull put spread on and closed it out for about a $1,400 gain there uh, in 30 minutes. We have our SPX uh, bear call spread on, which is looking great, an Apple iron condor and a Goog iron condor as well. So over three grand in profits in two and a half days. That's the power of uh, of the weekly options program here at, at Topkin Options. So uh, click on the link in this uh, in this email, or uh, I believe you can go. I think this is the uh, the link here to our uh, test flight. You can go to topkinoptions.com slash weekly dash options, and you can get a a, a two-week test flight for 38 bucks. I mean, for the price of, uh, speaking of wine, I'm, I'm joining us from Napa Valley right now working with a large defense contractor, but for, for the price of a really bad bottle of wine out here in Napa, you can take a two-week test flight into our weekly option service. Last week, uh, we pulled down some pretty serious gains, uh, and, and the week before as well, averaging about $5,000 in the past couple weeks in weekly options gains. So go to topkinoptions.com slash weekly dash options uh, and learn how we trade these potentially very profitable uh, instruments. Uh, but if you're doing it wrong and you trade weekly options wrong, they can leave a mark uh, and it can be painful. So uh, give us a shot here at uh, at TGO. I'll be back tomorrow, uh, heading back uh, from San Francisco to Miami tomorrow morning uh, on the uh, 0615 flight, so might not be able to get a sit rep out tomorrow, but if I do, uh, go ahead and check it out. If not, I'll see you for Friday's market wrap-up over at wealthcreationinvesting.com. We'll see you.